and welcome back to another Cooking Under Quarantine. Uh, this was an Easter edition, and basically what we're doing is what we do with the leftover ham we have. Um, so what we're gonna do today is make a split pea soup. Now you may get the idea split pea soup is really green, it's thick, it's gooey, it's like gravy. I don't make it like that. Um, I actually follow a recipe I got from Emerald. And if you Google Emerald's split pea recipe, that's this recipe. Um, it comes off more like the broth is not, I mean, we do put peas in it, that's what gives it that, you know, a green sort of really thick, uh, saucy kind of situation, but that's only if you put them in too early. If you put them at the end, it'll stay like a vegetable broth, uh, be clear and only have a little bit of green to it, which is what we're gonna be looking for. So, what do we need? What we need basically leftover ham, bone in, hopefully. If you don't have bone in, it's fine, but the bone's gonna add some um, some marrow, some bone marrow, some bone meal to the sauce to add the flavor. You need about four or five of these uh, chicken broth. I use the collagen. This is 48 ounces. Um, so basically, you know, three or four of these. You want to be able to fill up the pot where you can cover the meat. You're going to need two onions, about four or five cloves of garlic, some celery, a couple of carrots, the peas. Uh, you do need thyme, and you're going to have red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, and a bay leaf. That's it. Um, this meal goes together pretty quickly. Um, the, the ham's already cooked, so all we're trying to do is we're going to boil this down for about two hours. Just, just with the vegetables. The peas go in the last hour, but the vegetables create a sort of chicken broth and vegetable broth. The ham boils off. We pull the, we pull the ham out, pull the bone out, chop up all the meat that's in there into fine pieces, and we leave a lot of it chunky. We want that big, chunky chunks of, you know, split pea with that nice piece of ham on it. It's really hearty. Um, it's a great soup when it's cold out. Like today, it's rainy and cold, um, and my kids love it. And it's a nice way to, to finish off the leftovers of the ham. So stay tuned. We're going to start on step one, which is going to be, um, well, I can do step one right now with you. We're just going to take the ham on the bone, and we're going to put it in the pot. We're going to set this bad boy to boil. Then all we're going to do is... Um, you know, got handy. Then all we do is uh, stop cutting up the vegetables and throwing them in. And we'll bring this thing to a roaring boil. Uh, you want to have it on high at first until it boils. Then once it gets boiling, uh, you put everything in it. We'll cut it down, cut the heat down to put it on a slow simmer, um, and just really trying to just trying to melt the meat off the bone. So stay tuned for step two, which is me just cut all the, peeling all the stuff cutting up and just tossing it in. Okay, we're at step two. So I basically all I've done is prepped the vegetables. Um, and when you do this, you want to think, think chunky. Like when you put carrots in, you want nice big chunks, you know, celery, you want, you want, you know, good sized chunks. You imagine if you're going to eat this, you want it kind of good. Uh, the garlic and the onion, you do want to chop up fine because we want that to kind of emulsify. So I got basically, um, five carrots here, five, uh, branch, uh, five pieces of celery and seven heads of garlic that I'm just gonna put into this. Put into the sauce, for to start cooking. Throw that around. Now we're gonna add the other stuff. So here's a trick, you gotta put time in it. I would use um, a rope and a, a kitchen twine to tie that because if you don't, these branches go everywhere. So we'll just put that in there. That way we take it out um, in one piece and we put it in one piece. Um, I've done it before where I put it in and just let it emulsify and you're picking branches out the entire time. And people, no one wants a branch in the soup. Um, then we get the, the onion. You can see it's chopped up very fine. Then we want these to sort of emulsify in the soup. Remember, these are gonna cook for uh, three hours. So this stuff is all gonna condense down, and boil down. Um, the ham's gonna start releasing some of its sauce, that smoky flavor. Um, remember, the peas going at the end, so those are the very end. You do want to put some red pepper flakes on there. Not a lot. You don't want it super spicy, but you want to add a little bit of that in there. And I know that looks like I'm putting a lot, but it's one, one or two flakes come out at a time. It's not really coming up that much. There we go. All right. You want to put a few bay leaves in there. four or five in there and some regular black pepper um, the recipe calls for a little bit of salt but you really don't need it because the ham has enough salt on it 
but you are going to taste this. So if it, eventually, if it, as it's cooking, um, you feel it needs more salt, then you just add it at that point. But for right now, that is it. This will cook for about two hours. Um, boil down that that marrow that that bone will release the marrow into the water. Um, the the vegetables will kind of come together with that chicken broth, and that ham's flavor will be infused in that. Uh, then we'll just take the ham out, we'll debone it, and um, cut the chunks up that we can grab that are into you know manageable pieces. Throw them back in there, throw the peas in, and the last hour it just kind of cooks on slow with those peas. Uh, you do it to constantly make sure you stir that though, because those peas will stick to the bottom if you let them. Anyways, I'll see you in two hours. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this, how this thing is progressing. Oh yeah. See that? See that bone? All the meat's falling off. Just gotta let that bone sit in there for about another 20 minutes. Shave off anything that didn't fall off. And this stuff is already broke up into chunks. So now what we do is just kind of uh, wait for me to pull the bone out. Then I put the peas in. Have an hour left to cook. And it's done. Okay, so it's been two, two and a half hours now. Peas are going in. It's hard to do this in one hand. And uh, that is that. Alexa, set timer one hour. That's it. So now the peas go in. We just wait for them to get soft. Let's take a little taste. Oh man. Oh man. You see what I'm saying too? It's not green. It almost looks like a clear broth. And that is it. And we made it. The soup is done. That was about three and a half hours. Um, it went a little bit longer because I, the, the peas were still a little bit hard after an hour. And one of the things I didn't put in the video was I had to add water a few times to it. Just a, just a, a couple glasses, full glasses, like a 12 ounce glass twice, so 24 ounces. I had to do that twice. So 40 ounces I had to put in there because as I was cooking the soup for so long, we lost a lot of due to evaporation. Um, so now it's done. And um, again, it doesn't have that thick gravy soup look. It has that uh, nice clear broth. So you see these big chunks of soup in there, big chunks of ham. Let me get it. Spoon ham. Let me get a clean spoon ham. Let's see if I can get it without tipping. You can see it there. And that is it. Take a little bit of Man, if you like split pea soup, you're gonna love this. A lot of people have the conception that split pea soup is thick. It's really like clam chowdery. Um, this is really thin. I like the broth thin like that. Uh, and really, if I had, uh, I needed time for the peas to, to kind of cook in there because if you, yeah, and it, yeah, unfortunately you get a little bit of that green color in there, but it's nowhere near any kind of thickness at all. It is not like a stew or a sauce it is like a soup a broth soup it has a nice taste to it you can really taste that ham you can taste those vegetables and those peas add a nice little bit of consistency to them so that's a delicious meal um again that's something to do with ham leftovers uh if we had more ham leftovers we could try doing ham salad but we don't so that's what we got for our easter ham leftover edition i uh, hope you guys had a great easter i uh, look forward to making some more of these videos hope you guys enjoy this my family loves it you guys are gonna love it too i'll see you next time